You know, don't let anyone tell you who you can be and who you can't be. At the end of the day, you are who you are, and nobody can change that about you. It's part of, you know, you. It's part of you. Today in primary schools, books have examples of lots of different types of families, and secondary schools teach pupils about LGBT relationships. But when I was in school, that wasn't the case, and that's because of something called Section 28. So what was Section 28? It was a law that was passed in May 1988 and banned councils and schools from promoting homosexuality. Because it wasn't clear what promoting gay relationships meant, many teachers felt unable to talk about anything relating to gay people, and it made it very hard for gay people like me going to school at this time. This is Connor. He's 16 and came out when he was 14 years old. So Owen, how did Section 20 actually affect you as a person? Well, it was strange because when I was in school, to be honest, I didn't really know what Section 28 was. But what I saw was the product of Section 28, which was homophobia, absolutely. You know, it strengthened people's thoughts that homophobia was all right. So existing during a time when Section 28 was uh, affecting the things the teachers could say had a massive impact on my life. It took me a really long time to actually be all right with the fact that I was gay. How did, you know, Section 28 and the way that things around you, how did that affect you coming out to your family? It definitely delayed it. You know, I didn't think that I would be accepted. There were no TV programmes that maybe broached the subject or there were no entertainers on the TV who were openly gay. And if they were, you know, they were, they were always a bit of a joke. So it definitely took time for me to come out to my family. And when I did, I know they found it hard, but they were willing to learn. I'd say it's, I'm very similar in that sense because I grew up with a Christian family. I called my grandmother and I said, look, there's something I need to tell you. And then I came out to my grandmother and she found it difficult at first, she, d she did, but she said something that always stuck with me and she said, no matter what you say or no matter what you do, I will always love you for who you are. It doesn't matter what my beliefs are, I will always love who you are. Honestly, I, I think it's incredible that I'm back here in my old school talking to you about this and that we can have this conversation now because, oh my gosh, Connor, there was no way when I was in school, you know, when I was your age, that I could have had this kind of conversation with someone. When I was here, my registration class was all the way down there. It's been 20 years since Section 28 was repealed and a lot has changed since then. In the year 2000, the Scottish Government got rid of the law and then, three years later, in 2003, England and Wales also scrapped it. Those who supported the law have also since apologised. Now, children growing up in England, Wales and Scotland will learn about all different types of relationships and sexualities, although it's not compulsory in Northern Ireland. While there's still a long way to go, I'm just so glad that young people like Connor can now be true to themselves and love whoever they want to. Everyone has a right to their own opinion. They can have that opinion, that's fine, but you shouldn't let that bring you down. You shouldn't be scared of it. You shouldn't be scared of who you are and that you're beautiful just the way you are. Absolutely. I say that. Completely agree, completely agree. Thanks, Owen and Connor. Well, you can find out more about Section 28 and watch a longer version of that interview online.